Hi, my name's Ruan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sew Girl. I'm in a different location, I know. More to come on that soon. I have filmed a progress vlog because I'm only in the middle of progress. I'm not in the middle of being able to show you at all. Um, but yeah, I'm in my new room. And guess what just turned up? <laughs> I'm so excited. So I had a note to say it was coming between 11.23 and 2.23, but I'm getting picked up at 1 p.m. by my gorgeous soul sister, um, Tamlin, because we're heading off to Birmingham. And I was praying that it was gonna come between half past 12 and one o'clock, because that's when I finish work. And guess what? 25 past 12, shh, don't tell work. <laughs> so I'm gonna quickly open it now. And then I'm gonna edit the vlog, hopefully before Tamlin gets here. Let's see how quickly I can do this though, because you know what I'm like. Jibber jabbering. Let's get into this. I'm excited. I was watching um, Andrea's, was it a reel that she'd done of putting all of these pink boxes into the van? That's some exercise, I'll tell you, Andrea. Done some steps there, kid. So here we go. You might be able to see a few here, look. I've been putting all my Beyond the Pink Door boxes into my Kellogg's unit just to store things. I think I've just got, um, I was just temporarily putting things in there. I've put all my overlocker threads and stuff like that because they fit in quite nicely. Open me, pretty things await inside, it says. They absolutely do. So obviously you guys know what, what we're talking about here now. If you don't, these are a subscription box that Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door um, does. They are open once a month for new subscribers. I will pop the details down below so you can go and take a look. Um, yeah, and this is um, 35 euros plus postage and packaging all the way from Ireland, but it is so worth it. So let's go in, see what we've got. First of all, you get a, a oh, um, a little thingamajig here, which just tells you this is subscription box 13. It's a special edition for St. Patrick's Day. Ooh. And there's only one colour available this month, it says. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. And then on the back is a recipe for potato cakes. Oh, my husband used to love these, but I bet, is there egg in them now? There's egg, but I bet I can try and work that out. Something vegan-y and butter, I can use oil instead. <gasps> I might have a look at doing that because my husband used to love potato cakes because one of my best friends lives in Ireland, so we go over all the time. <laughs> and there's a little QR code on here, under my hand here, that you can go and um, scan, and that takes you to a video that is, um, bespoke just to this box and Andrea talks about what she's made with the fabric and other ideas but this box looks jam-packed full of goodies let's have a look what's in this oh, this is massive it's squishy how much bustling can I do oh I know what this is <laughs> it's nothing to do with subscription box somebody i.e Agatha from uh, in Agatha's Cottage, uh, messaged me and said, do not look at Andrea's new releases. So what did I do? <laughs> Straight there. And she had loads of new cuffings. So obviously I had to buy some. Andrea. <laughs> and oh, 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 and they're gorgeous. I bought three. I limited myself to three and you will not be surprised at the colours or the styles, probably. <laughs> oh, by the way, today I'm wearing, because I always forget, um, the Assembly Line High Cuff Top, um, which Andrea loves as well. When she saw mine, she's been off and made a couple as well. Um, and I wasn't sure about it, thought I looked like I had my pyjamas on. Now I love it, wear it all the time, need to make another, just so you know. But these are my cuffs that I got. How delicious are these? <gasps> So we've got, oh, sorry, the light's really bad. We've got this pink, like baby pink, candy pink, I would say, animal print one. I've got this one, which was red with pink stripes. And also this baby pink one with the red stars. Now there's not enough in here. I think it's, is it just over a meter or something like that? I can't remember. There's not enough to kind of do the bottom of something, but there would be enough to do 
the neck band probably and the cuffs of a top or just the cuffs if you were self doing the rest so I, they're going in my stash <laughs> excited so yeah nothing to do with the subscription box apologies so this is what it normally looks like <laughs> Ah, let's see. Oh, 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 now that is nice. I'm not going to show you the card because I'll leave that till last. But we have a treat in here. Potato, cheese and onion crisps. Good old Irish crisps. Obviously cheese and onion, I'm assuming. See, I associate cheese and onion with green, St. Patrick's Day. Um, but in Tato, they're obviously red and blue random but you know it's an irish thing and a cup of tea barry's tea cup of a cup of gold barry's tea that'll do me oh oh how beautiful are they okay so the gift the haberdashery gift they oh my god they're gorgeous how excited can i get over safety pins seriously but look at those i've seen this hemline gold range it's all in gold and black and it just looks gorgeous so actually inside there are one, two, three, four, five different sizes as well of um, paper clips. Um, and there's 50 pieces all together. I really like how that's packaged in a little glass bottle rather than, you know, sometimes you just have them all over the place, don't you? They're beautiful. So you wouldn't mind having those out on your, uh, your desk, would you? Oh, and what else have we got? We've also got something in here. It says, keep it up. What's that mean? Is that like a clue? Or not at all? Let's have a look. Oh my God, that is so pretty. Look at that. That is a magnet. It says, Burren Flower Fairies is the creation of Irish illustrator Susan Meany, I hope I've said that right, who lives on the dividing line between County Galway and the Burren, County Clare, with her family, dogs and bees. Burren Flower Fairies illustrations and gifts are inspired by the wildflowers of the Burren and the fairy folklore, so richly ingrained in Irish storytelling. All printed images are from original illustrations created and produced in Susan's garden studio. Do you know what? That reminds me of something from when I was younger. Little flower fairies. Is it not was Victoria Plum? I don't know if I'm just completely making that up. It's really reminiscent of that with the little fairies on the flowers. That's really taken me back. That is so beautiful. Oh, so you could use this as well, I'm thinking, to pick all your pins and stuff up that you drop. Not that I drop pins. Who drops a pin? Not me. Oh, yeah, look at that. We'll just go around my um, carpet like this. That is beautiful. Oh, I've got to try and find somewhere where that will actually clip to in my room because I think that is so pretty. Ooh. Right, so let's get on to the fabric, guys. This is the colour. Oh, look at that. St. Patrick's Day. Now, green isn't normally my colour. However... I've been really drawn to it recently and I don't know whether it's because it's really on trend at the moment and there's a lot of stuff um, on the high street in green, but I've really, really been drawn to it. And the other thing is, I keep looking at these fabrics online that have got little bits of lurex in them. Now, I'm a massive lover of viscose, um, but I've seen a couple where they've got the little flecks of um, lurex in and Andrea had some a while ago in like a blue colour and I didn't get it in time. It sold out and I was really gutted. Um, and then um, the beautiful Catherine from Soverton Makery also reminded me of it when she made her Marnie with some fabric with lurex in it. So it's been on my mind recently that I would really like to try and get something like that. And then look at this. Oh, how beautiful is that? Oh, it's got all the, it comes now in like a little hay thing. It's so cute. I take get to take that into work for because we package samples at work, so I take that into it all gets reused. But look at this. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can hold it up. Look, see, and green goes quite nice with my hair, I think. But yeah, it's just something I never reached for, but I've been looking at more and more. But can you see these little flecks? 
of Lurex that just shine in the light. That is absolutely beautiful. Right, so let's see how much we've got, just to double check. Two and a half meters, so it's 90% viscose and 10% Lurex. Now, another thing is, again from Catherine at Soverton Maker, is sometimes these little Lurex things can be a little bit scratchy. So if you ended up having something where it was on the inside, it's it's quite good because when you look at the fabric on the inside, you can't really feel it. But say, for example, you had something that was turning over. Um, that's what um, Catherine had. Or, you know, on your cuffs, it was turning over and it was itchy. All she did was get some little tweezers and pull the bits of Lurex out in those little areas just to stop it from con having contact with the skin. So how lovely is that? <gasps> Oh, I, I just, I just love it. Do you know what springs to mind straight away, and I don't know why, is a um, fringe dress. I've not made the fringe dress. I've got the pattern. Um, I've never actually made it, but I thought that would look really, really nice. Mm. Or a salt water slip. <laughs> that would make a really nice salt water slip, actually, wouldn't it? It's, it feels almost Christmassy as well, so you could actually save it and put it, to, you know, in your stash ready for Christmas as well. But yeah, I mean, you can obviously wear that all through the year, but that is beautiful. It's so soft. Viscose Lurex by Penelope in Europe. Yeah, that's a winner for me. So shall we have a recap? What did we get? Nom nom. I'm going to try not to eat these, though, because I'm at the minute doing the Joe Wicks uh, body coach diet. <laughs> She says going to Birmingham for the weekend where I'm going to drink Prosecco and eat myself silly. But anyway, um, a little tea bag. The cutest little uh, tin jar of um, safety pins, which we all need. This stunning magnet with the illustration on it. Love, 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 love that. Green thread and two and a half metres of this beautiful fabric. So if you've got any ideas what you think this might look good at, uh, good in, please do let me know in the comment section down below. I've managed to do that in less than 15 minutes. Miracle, I know, but check me out. So, um, yes, I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's had lots of time to sew and I will see you all again very soon. Bye.